It's giveaway time again here at Darth Rage Reviews. I'm going to give away this helmet. But first, I'm going to make it look like this helmet. I'm going to tell you all the details today on Darth Rage Reviews. <laughs> with you young Skywalker but you are not a Jedi yet greetings force fans and welcome to another episode of Darth Rage Reviews your source for the force guys if you would business is always first and this business is important you want to hit that subscribe button because it's giveaway season here again at Darth Rage Reviews which means there's going to be a subscriber threshold that we have to meet in order to give something away so Hit that subscriber button right now. Go ahead and knock that out of the park. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a, a little hoarse. I apologize. So, guys, this is one of the favorite things that I do here, y'all, is when, when I get a chance to give something away. So, I will be giving away a Mandalorian helmet. And this giveaway is actually really cool because it's kind of a giveaway slash competition slash comparison. So I'm doing this in conjunction with the Blues Bro. There is a link in the description of this video to his channel. Um, and you need to go and subscribe, guys. This guy makes some great content. Plus, my helmet, helmet giveaway is going to be uh, contingent upon him reaching a uh, survivor threshold or survivor, a subscriber threshold. So make sure to, after you watch this video, head over to the link to the Blues Bro and subscribe to him as well because uh good news he's also given a helmet away so you're gonna have two chances to win this helmet not this one i'm doing one he's doing one so it's a cool little competition i'm gonna call it a competition slash comparison because we're using two distinctly different methods to do this um so he's going to go airbrush duralumin and I'm going to go rattle cans and uh, graphite powder. Just really to kind of compare uh, how the two finishes look, uh, you know, just to see which one's better. I, personally, I don't think that I stand a chance with the graphite powder. I just think that's how much better dual Duralumin or Lumaluster uh, looks. But I'm interested in seeing how close I can get it. Um, so we're going to both do these. And then the judging still to to be determined. Uh, we don't know if we're going to send these to somebody uh, to feature a video of them together on a third, another third channel. Um, and then have you all kind of vote on who you think the winner is or if we're going to send both helmets to one or the other of us and do the same kind of thing where we let you guys vote. But we feel like we need to get the helmets under the same lighting condition and uh, record them like that. Just sorry just so you guys have a, you know, an accurate basis on which to, to vote. Um, and, you know, again, even if we post this on my channel, d don't feel like you're going to hurt my feelings if you vote for uh, the helmet that Elvis does. Matter of fact, we may end up kind of doing it as a blind one, vote for helmet A or helmet B, so you don't know whose helmet is whose helmet. These little details, we're working out. So we do know though that both of us are going to set this as a subscriber threshold in order to uh, give these away i think my th subscriber threshold i think i'm going to make it three thousand um it's a nice you know i love you guys three thousand and it's a nice number to reach that it feels like i should give away something big like a mandalorian helmet so my threshold's going to be three thousand elvis's threshold he set at 500 he's at you know 360 now or something or a little around like almost 370 I feel like he can get a lot more subscribers in that, but I'm not going to tell him how to play his game. So his threshold is going to be 500. And once he reaches 500 and once I reach 3000, we are both going to give these helmets away. Um, I don't know how we're going to do it. Live stream videos on our channels, all, all these little details we haven't worked out, but just know that you can take the first step here. The first step is going to be, to subscribe to both of our channels so subscribe to uh darth rage reviews which hopefully you guys already subscribed to and head on over to the link that i put in the description to the blues bro and give a subscription to him as well 
So I look forward to really kind of walking you guys through, uh, you know, when I, when I did my full Mando armor, you know, I did some kind of how I finished everything, but when you're dealing with an, a full cosplay like that and, you know, literal month of, uh, build time, you're kind of condensing what you're showing and you're kind of giving bits and pieces of it. So, uh, Elvis actually, you know, gave me this idea because he's going to do the same thing, uh, I'm going to really take a detailed uh, video and, and try to show you guys exactly the process of how I take this from uh, 3D printed PLA plastic to look like something like this. Um, you know, I hope to make a really good instructional video that will kind of walk people through the process of graphite powder and, and how I use graphite powder. Again, there's, there's 20 different ways to do all of these things. So uh, I hope to make this a really good instructional video um, that will really kind of show you guys... Uh, what we're dealing with. So let me show you where we're starting. Actually, let me show you where we started, which is here. So let me get rid of this one. Got too many Mando helmets just lying around. Uh, so we started with this, end up with this. So this is the piece basically with all of the supports on it. You can see the back of it. You know, has all this under part here. This all comes off. This was basically just supports in order to let it uh, print straight. The visor part will pop out as well. So this is what I got from Elvis to start. Um, I've already removed all the supports and extra pieces on this one. Um, but I want to show you just how dialed in his printer is. I mean, there's barely any lines on these, you know, flat parts. It's almost impossible to avoid some type of line when you're dealing with a domed kind of circular surface like that. But he really nailed this. I mean, this is, dude, your, your printer is dialed in. I mean, it really is. So this is not going to be a whole lot of, uh, post work prep work. Um, so look for a video. Next video in the in the kind of series is going to be me, uh, you know, really preparing this um, and you know finishing this helmet just to kind of walk you through the process. So I do anticipate that taking me about a week, just because I want to take the time, uh, you know, maybe even a little bit longer. It might be two weeks or three weeks because I want to take the time to do it right and take the time between sets to you know when I'm after I put the resin on, let it dry completely before I try to get to sanding it let every layer of paint dry, you know, for a good 24 to 48 hours before I do anything else on it. Just really take my time to do this right. So, and record the whole process. So it may take a little bit longer than, than, you know, I could probably finish this in a week, no problem if I was rushing through it, but I want to do it right. And I want to, uh, document the process. So the next video in the series will be me, uh, finishing that up and then, I'll do, you know, kind of updates the whole way as we go just to help build my numbers and help build Elvis's numbers and get us to that threshold so we can give this away. Because trust me, I know we both are itching to give this away. Um, what am I doing with the second one? Well, the second one is a uh, com commission for a friend. It's a personal commission for a friend. So uh, doing this one for a buddy that I have met uh, through TikTok, Instagram, and all those, uh, Pedro. Uh, so this one's going to be for you. Um, just one of the benefits of being a friend of Darth Rage. Or honestly, being a friend of Elvis at the Blues Bro because he hooked me up with this. So anyway... <clears throat> I hope you guys are as excited as I am to, to you know, do this. We love giveaway season here. Uh, it happens quite frequently. Um, always going to be another one coming on down the road, but uh, I'm really excited about starting somebody else on their Mandalorian journey. Um, so let me know in the comments, guys. Are you excited about this? Please let me know in the comments if you've headed over to uh, subscribe to the Blues Bro. I know a lot of you guys are already subscribed to them, but if you're not, Let's get a jump on this, head over there, and give him a subscription. Uh, and as always, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, drop a comment in there. As always, I'm Darth Rage. This is Darth Rage Reviews, your source for the Force. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master.